Oh gosh. Memory lane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before I moved to Taos, I was uh, I was in the music business. Uh, pretty much, I think it was a year after I graduated from high school. Uh, there, my cousin worked was a bass player and worked for a band called or a duo <clears throat> singers from England. Two guys called Chad and Jeremy. They they had quite a few hit records and. They, uh, my cousin got me on to work on the road with them and taught me about setting up and tearing down and doing lights and sound and all that. I was kind of thrown into it. I was kind of, I was plucked from the suburbs and I was told to be at the airport 10.30 Friday night. I got the message on a Wednesday <laughs> and then I was on the road with those guys for three months and I just learned as I went. And I did that for several years. Uh, did a show we were doing. When we were on the road, we were doing four or five shows a week, traveling every day, doing one night stands. And uh, it was quite an experience. I grew up, I had to grow up pretty fast. Uh, and I was in the music business. I stayed in the music business. A year or so after I worked for Chad and Jeremy, I got a message from my friend that I grew up with in Chicago and he had a band out of Chicago and they were poised to become pretty famous. Uh, they had just released their fourth record for the local label and it was they, the, the band was called the Buckinghams and the record was kind of a drag. My friend John Polis that I grew up with. So they came out to the West Coast and, and uh, I worked with them for several years um, yeah, we had a lot of fun. I learned a lot about the music business, but I moved to, I actually moved away, I moved to Taos to escape from, <laughs> to escape from all that, because I was working for other people and I wanted to do my own music, and uh, so I came here, and I kind of, I actually was on the road right before I came to Taos. I, I, my friends had gotten an apartment here in El Prado and, and uh, I was on the road. I was in New York for a week. Uh, the guys I was working with, by that time they were the singer and the guitar player from the Buckinghams who did three albums uh, for Ode Records and uh, we toured, in those days we were touring with uh, did dates with Cheech and Chong and, and Bread and us uh, Ma Vision Orchestra, they opened for a lot of big acts. And I came from, we were at the Bitter End in New York. I think that club's still there. I'm, in fact, I'm almost sure it is. Uh, we were there for a week. And then I flew to Albuquerque and took a cab to the highway and hitchhiked up to Taos. And then I had moved here and I was, <laughs> I, I left the music business, the the big time music business. And so I came here and, and uh, I like to say that I got out of the music business and into the music. And I just took my guitar and kept writing songs and then I had my own bands in New Mexico. We worked all around this whole region for years. Moved to Albuquerque for several years and played. Because it was hard to make a bass out of Taos. Everything became the road from Taos. So we moved to Albuquerque. On and on and on, and the road goes ever on. 